Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. So today what I want to do is develop this area over here by the railroad tracks and see if we can't get a few things set up over on this side. Now this is a passenger train line that we've basically gotten from over here and I'm almost wondering if we could somehow get a um, the cargo line over that direction too because right now it currently just goes this way but it doesn't really oh actually you know what there is a cargo we can use the cargo terminal and bring it that way that would work um, though it could, couldn't really transport goods from all the way over here we might be able to make some sort of an exception for it to um, connect up maybe I don't know we'll see what the underground looks like Let's go to transit, and then we can kind of see what's going on here. Um, so we got the tracks that go this way. Might be able to branch it off going this way, and then kind of parallel, or maybe we can go down. I don't know. We'll see what we can come up with. Uh, let's see the tracks. Try to bring that down evenly. Okay, so we have that. We don't really need to go down, I don't think. Well, maybe we do. I don't think we might have. Probably don't have enough room there to go over. So, let's see. Maybe a round road like that. We might be able to connect it up to here. I'm not sure. Let's bring that a little bit forward. Oh, I think I put it on a different level. <laughs> it's way down there. Can't connect it up to there. But we can do that. I'm not sure if the, the lines are hooked up, but that might work. And then that way they can go this way or come in through that way. That would work like that. Okay, now it's just a matter of getting it up on the uh, part there. No.
So I started on some infrastructure for a new um, farming industry area. So we're going to be basically moving our farming industry area over to here. I figure that will probably be the best um, way so we can have a proper connection to our rail system. And I also zoned this area over here to something called Maple District. So. We'll be developing this area in a little bit. Um, the tracks have to kind of go all crazy like like this. Uh, if they want to get further on to this area, then they're going to have to kind of loop around and go around like that. I couldn't really figure out another way to do that without having proper connection for these two tracks if they need to go that way. So. I basically just did that. I figured it would probably be the best solution just to go this way and then they all connect up. They kind of, it's hard to see really, but there's one line going this way and then there's another one going that way and there's another one going this way. So there's there's a lot of lines going through here because they also go this way too, right? Um, these two go this way and that one just goes direct on, I think. And that one's a little bit easier to see, but yeah, basically that's what I've done. And then we'll probably go under and come out maybe on the cliff side over here. Maybe we'll make that cliff a little bit sharper, I guess. We'll see what we can come up with. But uh, I want to start moving some stuff over uh, because we were really restricted to this area and we don't have a lot of area to actually expand to. So I think moving it might be a good idea. So we'll move some of these uh, animal uh, processing things over here, I guess. Actually, you know what? We should probably lay down some roads, shouldn't we? All right, so let's see if we can't lay down a couple roads. Bring that up to there. And let's see if we can bring that that way. And then we'll have a couple connections there and there. I think that will probably be good. <clears throat> uh, so we can um, hook some of these buildings up here. So put this one over here on this side. I'm losing my voice. Ah. Put him, we'll leave a little bit of space so we can decorate it a little bit, I guess. So put that there.
pigs and cows and stuff were. Apparently they were still across the map. Now they're just kind of wandering the city and avoiding traffic by the looks of it. I love how it just disturbs traffic too. They're like, ah, uh, pig, <laughs> pig in the road. So that's good. I'm glad that they're on their way back to the uh, thing there. That's good. All right, because I was I was looking over here and I'm like looking at it and I'm going, there's no pigs there. And I noticed that there was no cows over on that one. I'm going, hmm, interesting. Those ones I don't actually think have animals, but the other ones I think do, so. But we got a whole bunch of pigs and stuff coming, so that's good. And they probably won't take much time to get to their location, I figure. Cows are already wandering around, that's what it says. <laughs> I'm supposing the pigs wandering around, yeah. Pigs wandering around too. I also put a high capacity uh, fire station in here just to be safe. And I got the zoning for this part done. Well, not the zoning, but like the road part. And I figure what we'll do is we'll... Um, Probably put some commercial in this part and over on this side just so it's not as noisy for the people and then we can kind of fill up this area over here uh, before we do anything though we should probably want to go with a European style see if we can't get a little bit different building style. Just delete those. Alright, so once they develop that, it should look a little bit nicer. And then we can start planning out um, some high density. I don't want the just too close to noisy buildings for the, the residential areas. Just want to make sure that... Okay, so all this is going to be pretty noisy. So will that. So this area mostly, I guess, for high density. The rest can be low density. That way not as many people get uh, annoyed with the sound, I guess. And we'll do something like maybe that do something like that maybe
so we got our farming industry moved i actually added more buildings so we added all these farm buildings here the uh crops just to break even with uh what we're producing or using pardon me um so we got pretty much most of the own products so we're only like dishing out like $320 for what we need for crops which isn't too bad uh given that we're we got three additional well I think four because we only had two um flower plants before and we've been slowly increasing production for that so we got quite a bit of um animal products and stuff like that still not enough for a delivery just yet but eventually we will have a delivery that goes out so oh it looks like we might be shipping out some flour at the moment nice all right so that officially is our first delivery uh, i don't know where it's going where is it going it's going to the airport cargo train station so that's good. So I'm glad everything is in working order. Um, it shouldn't take too much longer to um, work on this area. We'll start developing this area for probably next episode. And sooner or later, I'll be doing a poll for what game you guys want next season because it's starting to get to the towards the end of the season for this game. And we'll definitely come back to it, so don't worry about that. Uh, we'll just need to, um, I'll, I'll make sure to save it and then put it on a drive or something like that so I don't forget about it. And yeah, and the trains come out this side as well. So the, there's a direct line for cargo to go this way. I just need to figure out what to do with it at the moment. I'm not sure where we're going to be expanding to just yet. But outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.